This week on the core. Okay, down. Yeah. Over the top here, yes. inside here. Organo. This is mahogany. Yes. Okay, so we have mahogany, yes. manidura, Namibia, yes. manidura, Namibia. Namibia. <laughs> and from here, kick off we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah! Yeah! There you go! Yeah! <laughs> Today we are going to be spending the day with a drum maker to learn the ins and outs of actually making a drum. And of course the best way to do that is to get into their shoes. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Emmeline, nice to meet you. Amazing, okay, so right now you're making a drum, right? Yes. Okay, so you'll be teaching me yes. how to make one too? Yes. Okay, I'm actually quite excited. Okay, let me sit and let's chat. Okay, so what are you doing now? I'm piecing drum. You what? I'm piecing, piecing drum. Piecing drum? Yes. And how long does it take you to make one drum? Five minutes. Five minutes? Yes. So how many do you do a day? I do a thing, 10 you pieces. 10 pieces a day? Yes, a day. Wow. And then, so do you kind of do all of the painting and then all of the facing? No, only the, fe only the facing. So that's what you do, the facing? Yes. So who paints? It's my small boy, he's the one who paints the drums. He paints it? Okay, but yes. today I'll be painting as well, right? No problem, I can teach you too. How did you decide uh, this is what you want to do, that you mm -hmm. want to make drums? The time I was young, I see how they made the drum. Mm -hmm. It was me, made me happy to get uh, to learn the work because the time I was young, I didn't work. Always I was playing football. When I finish, I can't get anything. Then I want to learn the drum. So when I learn, then I'll be doing it to keep some money. Mm -hmm. That's why I start. I come to my master. I tell him I want to learn the work. It's okay. So when I'm ready, I'll come there and teach me. Then I'm ready, I come to him. He started teaching me how to make the drum. How long did it take you to learn to be able to make one fully? One year. One year? Yes. Wow, okay. Now that's a long time. But to kind of make yes, your own yes. money. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Well, yeah everybody has to make money, right? <laughs> You're like laughing, I'm saying money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sell outside Ghana? Yeah, South Africa. South Africa? Yeah, I sell drums. And then do people come to you, yes. the clients, or you go and find them? No, they come to me. Really? Yes. Some of them have my number. So when they are coming, maybe when they, some of them are friends who will see the drum, they say, oh, maybe this drum is nice. Who do it for you? Then he give my number to the person. Then when he come to Ghana, then he will call me. Or maybe I need drum. Then he come to my house or my shop. Mm. Then we started working. Do you get a lot of musicians asking for drums? No. Not really. If they're not musicians, is it people who no, want to put not, it in their it's, house? It's, yeah, or? it's not musicians. So they buy it for decorations? Yes, for decorations, yes. So they can decide what they want painted? What they want, yeah, with the colour they like. Okay. So you do customization, right? <laughs> yes. How many how many drums do you sell in a month? Uh, to, a month, like fifty pieces. 50 pieces? Yeah, 50 pieces. Okay, so it takes you... Wow, wait, so you make 10 a day? Yes. And you sell 15, so 50. you sell a, a week's worth? Yes, a week. And then you have like three weeks stock, right? Yes. That's impressive. And then do you feel like it brings enough money for you to live? Yes, yes, I make a lot of money. You make a lot of money? Yes. Okay. I like it, every time you talk about money, you're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> So that's good, so 50 pieces is enough. Yeah. How much do you sell one piece? I sell one. Only this one is 1.5, each one. Okay, so yeah, like 150 have, kind of cities, yeah? Yes, but we have a lot of sizes. We have 20 of the sizes you like. We have 13, we have 12, we have 11, we have 4 pieces, and we have 5 pieces. Wow. So it depends on the piece and okay. with the size. Oh my gosh, does, does the hair stay here? <laughs> when it dry, I used to say to cut it. Oh my gosh, you're going to cut the hair? Yeah, and when go, it dry, right? I used to say to cut it. Okay, so what kind of material is this then? Oh, this is the goat skin. Goat skin? Yes. Okay, and then this is? This is the this thing, mahogany wood. This mahogany is, wood. Yes. 
And then do you always use mahogany wood? No. Okay. Depend on the work you want. We have quality. Depending on the quality. So ah. I have to use the mahogany to get the quality drum with the quality sound. Okay. Yes. And then, so the wood depend makes a difference yes, for the sound. Yeah, depends for the sound. Wow. So what other woods do you use? Okay, some of we some use because some use nyamidia because of the wood. What's it called? Because of the wood, some of them use nyamidia. Nyamidia. Depend, uh, depend of the price too. Mm -hmm. Maybe the price you offer is not good for the person. Okay. So you see, this one is called good than the nyamidia. So you're going to buy the nyamidia to do the work for you. Nyamidia. Right? Yes. Okay. So this is called Namedua? No, no, this is the mahogany. This is mahogany. Yes. Okay, so we have mahogany, yes. Manedua. Namedua, yes. Manedua. Namedua. Namedua. <laughs> Where did you get the wood from? You get it from Okrasi, the village. Mm. It's Okrasi. So do you have to go outside, yeah. get the wood, you bring it back? Yes, yes. How often do you get wood? Okay, we call them, we order them, they do it for us. So okay. when they are ready to pick it, then we go there, then we pick it, come. So when you finish, then we paint it. That's cool. Then we, we send it to the welder to make the way the list the metal. Okay. Yeah. Then, so the welder will make the metal. Yes. Okay. Then we have rag. We call it calico. Cali rag. 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 It, yeah. It's, we call it calico. Calico. We use it to cover the metal mm -hmm. before we use the rope. So this yeah. is rope. This is calico. Yeah, it's calico. Okay. Do you dye it so that it's no, purple? No, no, no. It no. comes purple. Yeah, it comes purple. We have different different colors. Have, okay. Yes. So should I try and paint one? No problem, I can teach you. Okay. Right, okay, so we're ready to make. Okay, let me sit properly. Okay, so you're getting the paints, yeah? Yes. Is so this I'm paint or ink? It's ink, but we call it dye. You call it dye? Okay, yeah. it's dye. But it's water paint. Yeah, yeah, that's Water paint. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting with the yellow first. Yes, so we start with the yellow first. So now we are going to make Ghana color. Okay, do you want me to do it? Yeah. Looking all serious? Okay, are we good? No, do it. Oopsie. The whole thing? No, I go to mark. What? So the page the red will be, and the page the yellow will be. Okay, now I'm confused. So we have a lot of yellow. Yeah, so now I'm going to put the red. Okay, red. Yes. Red. Green. We're ready. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, cool. So we have to go to the, we go to the welder. welder. Yes. Okay. You waste like no time. When we join our hands, it means that we are one. It means we stand, believe, and rise together. Because when our hands are joined, our hearts are joined too. And when all our hearts beat as one, extraordinary things become possible every day. The more you drink awake water, the more we can help keep hearts awake. For every bottle you buy, an amount will be donated to the National Cardiothoracic Center, Ghana. Okay, so this is the welder. Yeah, this is the welder. Hi boss, we're making a drum, uh, a gimpe drum. So now we are coming to the welder to make the rod for us to make fix the rope. Okay. So he's the one who's going to make the rod. So he measures it, right? Yeah, he measures it. Um, but look, he's, 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 he's just written on my drum. <laughs> like <laughs> The measurement. Okay. What is he doing now? Making it straight? Yeah. We want to bend the rest in the road. Oh. He's bending that like it's noodles. <laughs> Bend it! Come on, Em. I don't get it. He made it like... 
Okay, you can just stand to like this. Let me try, let me try. Ready? Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. Whoa! But he's got some serious muscles, but you can't tell. Yeah, I'm scared. I don't want to go blind. <laughs> Welder looking like Sarkozyan. It's good. Okay. So we have to go and make the calico. Now we have to make the calico. Yeah, so we have to go okay. to show. So that's somebody else as well, right? Oh, we're gonna use green. Nice. So top face, top. Do you use what hand? Do you use your right hand here, yeah? You, you can use the two hand. Okay. So you Over the top. No, yeah. Here. Uh huh. So you measure with your finger. Oh, okay, you're using so your finger yeah, to measure. Yeah, so you touch So this top bit of your finger, yes. right? So down. Okay, down. Yeah. Over the top, here, yes. inside here. Yeah. Measure of my finger. No. This one has to be close, yeah, right? Yeah, it has to be close. Okay, cool. Down. Top. 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 Inside, measure of my finger. Yeah. Okay, so now that you've finished that bottom bit, this links here? Yes. We link the two together? Yes, when okay. I finish, I'll lace it. You call it lace, I'll put lace two up. Yes. Okay, let's let, let, keep going, I'll watch. Is that your name, More Life? <laughs> yeah, my nickname. More Life. Yeah, I was looking at that, More <laughs> Life, and then I hear someone say More Life, and I'm like, they're even trying to give us, you know, a bit of a encouragement. <laughs> Okay. I was thinking something was looking odd. My turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yes. Into here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, gradually getting there. Okay. Okay, so now we finish, we have to fix the skin. We have to put the leather. This is when we're going to fit the skin now, yeah? <laughs> yes. Okay. I guess it's good, it's um, environmentally uh, friendly. I guess if we eat the goat, then we use the goat skin. Oh my gosh. Can't we use something else? Oh, looks like a squirrel. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll let you do that. Um, I might just cut. Is that the leg? Oh, poor animal. So we start. Yeah. Yeah. This way, two hand. Am I, am I going up this way? Yeah. No. Ah. Let's see. Oh wow. So it has to be dropped, have you seen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And here it's up. <laughs> Are we going this way, no, yeah? Yeah, I'm going this way. No, no, this one. This one. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. So, this one. Oh my fingers, they hurt. Okay. Okay, you can start. We start from here. Yeah. Okay. This way. Let's cut some excess skin. Ooh, sounds barbaric. Okay, so we finished. Yeah, so we finished the drum. <laughs> we finished our drum. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. And um, what's this for? Yeah, when you dry, that's the one I use to make the handle. The handle of the You have drum. a handle? Yes. How do so you make like the this. handle? You can try. What? I'm Muslim. <laughs> so you hold this one here. Yeah, then I didn't you put know. It. Yeah, so. And then what? Yeah. Okay, so we just keep going. Okay, that's simple. Yeah. Oh, cool, 
Okay, so this is what we'll do when yeah, that dries. You will end up dry. making this. Yes. So then you can. Okay, so when it's wet. Yeah. When it's dry. Yeah, when okay, it's dry, then we'll it. Okay, so you do know how to play a bit. It's time for some entertainment. Of course, after you've made the drums, it's good to be able to play the drums, but although that's a whole different story. But this was Emmanuel on the call. Thank you, Emmanuel. I am probably forever scarred with the goat skin, but I think it's cool. What do you think? I mean, the chicken doesn't seem to give a crap, but it's okay. <laughs> This is the new normal. The first Maud's drink with a chocolate flavor. Let's go. We can see your five in the air. High five, Choco Maud's. Ah, high five, Choco Maud's. Charlie put your five in the air. High five, Choco Maud's. Oh, yes. If you wanna be refreshed, high five, Choco Maud's be the new normal. See, we're breaking loose and we're changing the game with the new normal. Make us see your five in the air. This be the new normal Make us see your five in the air This be the new normal eh? Make us see your five in the air High five choco mods ah, High five choco mods Charlie put your five in the air High five choco mods oh, High five choco mods yes. Make us see your five in the air High five choco mods ah, High five choco ah, mods Charlie put your five in the air High five choco mods High five choco mods oh, yes. High five choco Enjoy the mods Feel the chocolate Another quality product from Casa Preco. streets explores the amazing talents of those you may not always see. Accra is filled with extraordinary talent that often goes unseen. We want to expose these talents and share with you the most breathtaking, exciting and inspiring talents. Today's talent on the street is Mustafa Seydou, a yoga teacher and singer. Wow! Well, hello. Hi, Emily. Welcome. That's super impressive. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm so excited. Yes, yeah. me too. More about you. Yes. Maybe you can show me some of the stuff that you do, mm -hmm. and then maybe I can try. Yes. But let's see. Okay. So, which one do you want to start with? Well, first, I want to find out more about you. Okay, Mustafa, like, how did you start yoga? I started from school, School of Performing Arts, um, acting. So, it was part of our exercise regimen. Yes. So wait, so they do yoga when you learn acting? Yes, my time, they brought that into our curriculum. So you have to take um, yoga, just like the, like the beginning. And then you build some core strength as performance. Like, you know, that kind of exercise to keep you, like, you strong, both on stage and even off stage. That's really impressive. And yes. then how did you decide then to bring it into like a career for you? Okay, after school, I was fortunate. Um, I met a group of American tourists who were like yogis. So, yes, I met Kemetic Yogi from the US. So, I trained with him for like two years. That's super impressive. And then, is that how you found that you could have the strength to kind of do all of the handstands and all of that? Exactly, exactly. Like, from, from his training, I, I got to know more about myself. I was flexible. I could push on and do it. And I, it was exciting. So I was like, yes, let me do this. So obviously, you were saying that the yoga helped your acting. But then yes. how has your acting helped your yoga? yoga? OK, can't say much about my acting. I mean, here in Ghana, the industry is already like not booming as it used to be. So um, I'm trying to. I'm pushing more of my attention into yoga now because I went to Kenya, Africa Yoga Project to have uh, my teacher training. And then from there, I see more of my yoga journey. What do you think it means to be a yogi in Ghana? Leadership. Okay. Leading from both on the mat and off the mat. In the studio where I teach Bliss Yoga Accra, People trust you with their bodies. They come to practice. You are leading. 
you see. So that for me is a platform. It's a, it's, a, it's a leadership platform. That's really interesting, leadership. I don't yes. think many people would put, would link yoga and leadership it's together. Yeah. Do you think it's necessary to study what you're going, which career you're going to go into? I think it has to do with your interest, the individual interest. For me, I'll always go for what I love. I'll always go for what I want. So like, it doesn't really matter whether I studied this or that. If I want to be this, mm -hmm. I put my energy to it. I, like, I, I settle in and then I move on. Your parents, were they okay when you wanted to go into and teach yoga? My daddy, for instance, he was like, I should, I should get myself a job and stop this. This might not take me anywhere. I might, I might not have the strength maybe in 20 years time to, to still do this. And then it, it resonated with me a lot. And I still think I'll continue because I see very older people, 80 year olds in teacher training, doing yoga. So for me, I, I cannot see beyond that. And what, is, what does your dad say now? Now he's not talking. <laughs> he's not talking. Yes, he's not talking. He's, he's like he's quiet. They're like everybody else is watching me. Where is he going to take this? Like that's that's where it is right now. So he's kind of accepted that you. This is what you're doing. You're teaching yoga. Yes. You're acting sometimes, yes. but this is your profession. This yes. is what you do. Yes, this is my lifeline. And so, where do you see yourself in say five years time? In five years time, I want to see myself a bigger yogi than I am right now. Extending my practice my influence, and then spreading yoga across, not only in Ghana, not only in Africa, but across the globe. Wow, big dreams, right? Yes. Big dreams. And you know, some people in Ghana may feel that yoga is kind of a spiritual practice, or there's a very, like a great area as to what yoga is. What is it? Yes. And what is it not? What it is, is, is a body, mind, spirit integration. And I think most of us here in Ghana, we do believe everybody has a spirit. Mm -hmm. So if yoga is spiritual, you exercise your spirit. So that is what I think. And then do you feel by saying that you exercise your spirit, are you like praying to something like whilst you're doing yoga? Does it become, like cause I think people often feel that yoga is, I don't know, maybe you're talking to other spirits, maybe you're talking to like, that's the evil spirits, I don't know. I, I don't think so, and, mm -hmm. and that's not true. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 a self, it's a self thing, it's a journey of self, of self through self. Mm -hmm. So it's all about self. And then also acknowledging that there's a higher power. Mm -hmm. That is it. It's somehow like a, a mystical communication, but you find it inside of you, mm -hmm. and not like saying specifically like, this is what I'm praying to. Yeah. But it's like you acknowledging yourself, as where you are right now and acknowledging higher power like above, 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 above you. And then when you mean higher power, it's whatever that person prays to or believes in, right? For me, even higher power, higher power, like it, it's hierarchical, like um, 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 say my mother, she has that power over me when, say when I was young. Mm -hmm. So that, that is it, that, that kind of hierarchy. You just acknowledge you, what you are, body, mind, spirit, and everything. But also, like, there's, there's a higher power. People, it, it could be a person even. People have powers too. Power like, we give a lot of power to our president. We have given him power. And what he exercises is power. And this is the power we are talking about. That sounds amazing. Okay, so should we see some of the things you do? Why not? Let's display, let's show some yoga. Okay. <laughs> yes. Get ready. So I take my Walk shoes up. off. Yes, take your shoes off and get ready to sweat. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to watch you first before I sweat. Oh, wait, can I take my shoes off? <laughs> That's my feet saying, don't do it. Okay. Okay, so let All me watch right. you first. Okay. So, this is the painter. We start from here, bringing our hands together. And lift. Oh my gosh. All right, just like that, okay. And <laughs> if you have it. <laughs> That's really impressive. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. what's the next thing you're going to show me? <laughs> okay, okay, I think this one will be a bit like easy for you. So come lying on your back. 
Yeah. Bring both hands closer to your ear yeah. and lift off. Whoa. And if you have it. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Oh, okay, just, just casually. Yes. Are you eating some food or having some tea? Yeah. So, keep breathing and drop. And we could take bridge. Okay. This is this bridge. Oh, that's just a simple one, okay. It's bridge. Bridge. It's easy. Let me try, start with the bridge. Okay, start, okay start with bridge. <laughs> so, bring both feet closer. Oh, and we are coming off from our chest. You can interlace your hands behind your back and feel it. So bring your shoulder blades closer together. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And the bridge pose release. Okay. <sighs> okay. Planting our hands closer to our ears. And we take off, here we go. Yes. I hope I don't break my back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that leg you put up though. Okay. Yeah. Wait. And release. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, the leg was not coming up. It was it was the legs or the arms. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to fall. How you feel after? I feel like I've stretched my stomach. You did? Yeah. Yes, but like in a good way. Yes, you're building, yeah, you're building core strength. Yeah, you're yes. making more space for food. Yes. Like, <laughs> it's creating space. Oh. High plank. You might need to help me when we do it, okay? All right, high plank. Yeah. And then from high plank to downward facing dog. Yep. We release our elbows to the ground to a dolphin and then bring your, uh, your, your palms together as to build the banda, to build the foundation. And from here, kick off we go. Kick right. off. Kick. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. So, okay. Whoa, there you go. Yeah, you're kind of, kind of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but it's assisting in yoga, so like it's, it works. My back. Your back. I'm like, hi you guys. Uh, okay, that's okay. cool. Yeah, that right. was nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Keep kicking. Uh -huh. B. Yes. <sighs> that's it. Yes. Yeah. And now flex those toes. And there you go. Beautiful. I feel like this is easier like this. <laughs> is, it not, is it not easier if you go like this with your toes? Well, if you point. If you point, it's a bit easier. Yeah. But when you flex too, like, that's why like, you contain all the energy like from <laughs> inside. I feel I heavy. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to do a handstand, right? Yes. Okay, and we'll try, try first with the bunny hops. Bunny hops? Okay, yes. show me. Let's see. Okay, so bunny hops. Plants. Yeah. Really plants. I'm planting <laughs> your palms into the mat. Yeah. Get that friction. Okay. And then. The friction. Yeah. Yes. Okay. From your core. Core. Yeah, the core. Mm -hmm. That's us. One. Oh, Two. You like flying. <laughs> Hold on. One. Three. Ah. Uh -huh. Come on, Emmeline, you've got this girl. Squat, open, here, not as wide. Oh, what, my can. squat? Uh -huh. So that you can just come, take the wrap. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So plant, really plant, get a firm grip. Yep, the frog pose. Rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> <laughs> So from here now, your core, you walk, okay, walk your feet forward and then you get lightened, lightened and you invite your core strength. Did he just say core? Oh yeah. Yeah! Yeah! There you go! Yeah! <laughs> so we are going to go from crow to headstand. So support your head with this. 
Yeah, OMG, okay. 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 <laughs> All right, so off we go. Okay. Crow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And guys, this was Emmeline on the call. Make sure you watch us next week. And let's go up. Yes, off we go. Yeah. Yes. Woohoo! Is sponsored by Awake Purified Drinking Water and High Five Chocomol. GH1 TV, your best experience. <laughs> <laughs>